Okay, sure, sure, whatever will be, will be. We're going to Wembley. Okay, sure, sure, that's right. It's time again. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hope you're all keeping well. You know what you've got to do if you haven't done so already. Smash that like button, subscribe. I really do appreciate everybody that's done it so far. You absolute legends. Welcome back to Great Talks Wrestling. Hope you're all keeping well. Let's crack on because we're on the road to Wembley, ladies and gentlemen. AEW with the biggest show in professional wrestling of all time. Coming from Wembley Stadium. Can you believe it? Finally, after 30 long years, we have finally got what we have been asking for. Another show. Another professional wrestling show at Wembley Stadium wrestling fans in the uk are losing their minds we cannot wait the days are counting down the minutes the seconds oh my gosh can you believe it i will be there you will be there make sure you say hello if you see me i will be at aew all in wembley i cannot wait let's do it let's talk about aew dynamite because we kick off with the jas the jericho appreciation society probably one of the worst factions ever in AEW's short history. Let's have that right. In the ring. Calling out Jericho. Asking him what's going on. Is he leaving to join Don Callis' faction? And why shouldn't he? He's been carrying these five, six, seven jabronis. However many there are in this fucking faction. Since it ever started. They were nobodies. Absolute nobodies. Apart from maybe Guevara. The rest of them. Absolute no ones. Doing absolutely nothing. People might say Hager. Hager's stealing a paycheck. Let's have that right. Stealing a paycheck since day one. The geezer's done absolutely nothing memorable in AEW apart from wear a fucking hat. And anybody, any idiot can fucking wear a hat. Let's have that right. Ridiculous. This whole thing, ridiculous that Jericho should even entertain these losers, these jabronis. Come on. They're absolute bums, the lot of them. Absolute bums. The only one with a bit of inkling of a future is Sammy Guevara, if he acts right. Anna Jay's okay. We see what happens to her later on in the show. The rest of them, though, are going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. So jog on. If it weren't for Jericho, you'd be bums still jobbing it out on the indie scene. Let's have that right. If it weren't for Jericho, he could be doing absolutely nothing now. Probably losing in MMA somewhere. If it weren't for Jericho, who would Sammy Guevara be right now? Nobody. Just an idiot diving off the top ropes and diving off the ladders and breaking his neck and breaking his back. If it weren't for Jericho, show some fucking appreciation from where you came from. That's what I'd say if I was Jericho, but no, he just let him walk out on him. Anyway, we've got a decent first match. The Hardys versus the Young Bucks. A dream match really over the years, but now the Hardys aren't the Hardys anymore, and the Young Bucks aren't even the Young Bucks anymore. Let's have it right. None of them can go like they used to be able to go. This ain't the Hardys from 1998 and the Young Bucks from the early 2000s or 2010s, even. This is 2023, ladies and gentlemen. This is bad. Hard to watch at times. Watching Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy try and attempt to do anything in the fucking ring. It's just hard to watch. I don't mind the Young Bucks. They can still go. No doubt about it. If they're put in there with the right tag team. It's music. It's magic. Let's have it right. Nick Jackson, Matt Jackson have still got it. But the Hardys, unfortunately, are losing it fast. Especially Matt. He's an embarrassment in that ring. Shouldn't be anywhere near it anymore. I'm sorry. Jeffrey's had too many chances. Was a fan of theirs back in the day, but now I'm sorry. I don't want to see him anymore. Just go away and keep your legacy. Stop ruining it every time you come back. It's just ruined again. This match was bad. I'm sorry it was. Saved at the end with the announcement that FTR will be facing the Young Bucks at Wembley. And my only hope is this isn't like because the Young Bucks have re-signed. They're just going to rob the titles back off of FTR. Because FTR still got a long way to go 
with these AEW titles. There's still bits they can do. They still have teams they can face and work with and look very good. But you know, I got a feeling the young bucks are there. They're gonna be taking those titles back at Wembley. I got that feeling in my bones. I don't want it to happen because I'm enjoying everything FTR do. FTR are the best tag team in the world. Let's have that right. Well, it's not been decent so far as this build towards the main event of Wembley for the AEW World Championship. Adam Cole versus MJF. This week they go to a fucking trampoline park. Playing dodgeball. Okay, it was quite entertaining seeing MJF throw balls at kids, but apart from that, his little one liners were pretty funny. But this that is not a build you do for a world title match at the biggest show of all time. Come on, Tony Khan, sort the shit out. This is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic that this is the build for the main event of Wembley. Laughable. Absolutely laughable. So the Blackpool Combat Club have a little promo. They're on the show later on. And I'll talk about them more in a bit. But their promo was basic at best. The FTW Championship is on the line. Right? We're pretending like this title actually meant something now. It was a title made up by Taz because he weren't the, he had a strop because he weren't the world champion. Anyway, we move. Jack Perry's now a hill. And fantastic for it. Fucking at last. Because he had no likability. Let's have that right. The only thing that we ever liked about him when he was a babyface was his song. His entrance music. The rest of him, he wasn't very likable. If you have ever met the geezer, he ain't that nice. So he's the perfect person to be playing an arrogant little shit of a hill. And it works. I'm sorry it does. Um, his match was probably one of the better matches on the show. Him and RVD. Fucking Rob Van Dam. Flying high 420. Yes, please. So glad. Rob Van Dam may not be the Rob Van Dam we remember, but he can still go. He proved that in this match. This was decent. I enjoyed it. I'm enjoying this Jack Perry, I've got to say. Much more than what anything else he's done so far. Brilliant. So keep it up, boys. Keep that up. Keep that shit going. So we get MJF and Cole. Now they're in the ring after playing trampolines and dodgeball and all that crap. They're in the ring trying to get a bit more serious. I thought they might have a little bit of promo battle. MJF seemed to want to go. And he, he, the one-liners he delivered like Adam Cole so skinny and white in the 80s. Hogan would have snorted him up. That was fantastic. Fantastic one-liner. But Cole, what, what, what are you doing? Come on, man. Retort. No, nope. Cole don't want to do that. He wants to be best friends with MJF. He wants to challenge, not for the AEW tag team titles, because they flopped on that account. He wants to challenge for the ROH tag team titles. I'm like to myself, who the fuck are the ROH tag title holders now? Who are the champs? I don't fucking remember. Aussie Open, by all accounts. So at Wembley, on Zero Hour, the pre-show, the buy-in show, whatever you want to call it, the, the post-show, the pre-show, the show that nobody really watches... They're going to have a match for the tag team titles. The ROH tag team titles. Probably the biggest match Aussie Open have ever had. Poor old Aussie Open. And would they be jobbing out just to give the titles to MJF and Adam Cole to further this useless storyline that they've been doing? What's the point? What's the point in it? I thought we'd be getting MJF versus CM Punk at Wembley. Title unification. The biggest show ever. That's what it should be. That's what we should be fucking getting. Instead, we're getting this bullshit. Behave. Come on, Tony. Aussie Open versus Cole and MJF for the tag titles. So I'm MJF and Cole are doing double duty at Wembley. B, I swear to God if one of them gets injured in that match. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the scenes? Strong Roderick Strong's not too happy about it, nor are the kingdom. They let their foot well, Strong lets his concerns be known. But MJF and Cole don't seem to care too much. So we get the Blackpool Combat Club. And I can guarantee not one of those Blackpool Combat Club members actually knows where Blackpool is. They probably couldn't point to it on a map. Why are they still called the Blackpool Combat Club? Regal screwed them over and left a long time ago. But still they're calling themselves a the Blackpool Combat Club. Make it make sense, ladies and gentlemen. None of them are from Blackpool. None of them know where Blackpool is. I can guarantee you that. But still, they call themselves the Blackpool Combat Club. Like, it actually means I think Regal weren't even from Blackpool, you idiots. Come on. 
I don't mind this faction, but come up with a better fucking name for them. Of course, Moxley, Castagnier, Noli, very talented. Um, don't get me wrong, I like them, but they had a good match here with the Lucha Bros. We knew who was winning. They absolutely beat the shit out of them. Let me get this segment with Swerve and the Mogul Embassy, AR Fox, Darby Allen, and Sting! Tony loses, nearly has an aneurysm in the, on commentary. And Sting! The only thing he's there for, it seems like, is to do that. It doesn't do anything else, Tony Schiavone, throughout the whole fucking night on commentary. Apart from that, he should be an interview guy. That's what his job should be. The next, like, like Mean Gene back in the day. That's it, should be his job now, like in WCW. Mean Gene did the, the interviews. That should be Tony Giovanni's job. He should be nowhere near commentary. But Sting's back. Darby's back. We're having a coffin match at Wembley, ladies and gentlemen. A coffin match. Um, Yeah. Should be okay. I don't mind Darby. I don't want to see Sting jumping off of stuff anymore. I mean, I thought he'd be having his last match against Sugar. This match really doesn't mean much, really, for Sting, does it? It's more about Darby and Sting again. They're still tag teaming together, fighting another battle. When does this end? When does this end with Darby and Sting? Why can't we see them fight each other? Why can't we see Darby turn on Sting? You know, let's just have it and let's just do it. That's what we all want to see. But we don't get that. Instead, this is what we're getting. And then we move to the main event of the night. Women's title match. Hikaru Shida versus Anna Jay. And there is some sort of tournament going on as well. I'm not too clear about. I'm not too sure. But somehow we're getting a fatal four-way at... Um, Wembley and yeah this is one of the spots basically being filled I can't remember who else is in it I know Soraya is some, sneaking in somehow, somehow you know she is you know she is you know they're going to put her in the match and she's going to botch it up completely just because she's from the UK doesn't mean we actually give a fuck about her okay let's have it known 95% of us don't care we don't want to see we would actually just want to see good wrestling we don't want to see if they're British give them a match no we actually want to see the best people on the show. That's what we want. We want to see AEW, not AEW like British version. Do you know what I mean? It's not what we're paying the ticket for. It's not what we're paying our money for. We're not doing that. We want to see the best AEW have got to offer. And that ain't, I'm sorry, some of the British people that are in this company. Let's have that right, or associated with this company, because I swear to God I saw a post that Grado's having a match. I swear to God I saw Grado versus Jeff Jarrett is going to be it all in. Fuck that. Fucking dancing clown. Anyway, Sheeta versus Anna J. It was alright, I suppose. Sloppy way to finish a show, I've got to say. What a wimp. Finished on a whimper, didn't it, really? I was like, oh, this is a pretty boring way to finish a show. Oh, well, that was the end of the show. There you go. See you later. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Sheeta retained. What more can I say? Looks like she'll be at Wembley. I don't mind Sheeta. Women's division, though, is pretty light now. They've got a lot of injuries. That's like, Shane Janey Hater is actually injured. She is one person that is British that should be on this fucking show, but she's not. That's the cry and shame because she got fucking injured. Anyway, that's the luck in it. I feel sorry for her because she is actually one of the best women's wrestlers in the world. That's a, that's, that's a shoot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm Grey Talks Wrestling. That's AEW Dynamite, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I thought of it. Let me know what you think about the state of AEW. The road to Wembley all in. I'll see you all there. See you next time, though. Stay safe. Stay lucky. Peace. Bonjour.